I know I'm rocking the Masters green, but on this Duffy Sports Grill Throwback Thursday, we're going to kick it back to Live Golf because Live Golf Miami just happened this past weekend. And I bet you're wondering, well, well, why are you doing a Throwback Thursday to something last week? Well, because it was just that exciting. When you get Kepka, when you get Rom, and when you get DeChambeau all out on the golf course in South Florida, you're going to want to take another look at our coverage from Live Golf Miami on this Duffy Sports Grill Throwback Thursday. As the best golfers in the world prepare to attack Augusta National later this week, some of them found their way to Trump National Doral this past weekend to play in Live Golf Miami. Live Golf is exactly what it says it is. Golf, but louder. With special fan experiences like mini games by the ninth green, interactive signs and venues along the golf course, and even an entire fan village, Live Golf gives viewers of all levels the most fun possible. Unlike the PGA Tour, Live Golf is held only over three days of the weekend. And along with the individual tournament, players are divided into teams with special names and logos such as the Range Goats, Crushers, and Four Aces. Among those in the field were quite a few Palm Beach County residents, including Cardinal Newman alum and major winner Brooks Kepka, Jupiter resident Joaquin Neiman, Tequesta resident Brandon Grace, and Jupiter residents both from Team Range Goats, Peter Uline and Matthew Wolf. Uline and Wolf helped get the Range Goats out to a hot start on day one, but they would eventually falter as a team and finish in second, one stroke behind the winner's Legion 13, led by former Masters winner John Rahm, although Wolf would finish third in the tournament on his own. Just before the event began, the Range Goats announced that they had partnered with Convoy of Hope to start the Goats Give Back Impact program. For every team the Range Goats beat in Live Golf events, they would donate a goat to Convoy of Hope to bring to communities in need of rebuilding and sustainability. So, that's 11 goats already cashed in. The individual tournament was ultimately decided on a second playoff hole by Stinger team member Dean Burmester, who finished regular play at 11 under par. 13 Live Golf members are now headed up I-95 to Augusta, Georgia for the Masters. Follow along all week on ESPN Plus and the ESPN app. Hey, it's Theo Dorsey. If you like this video, make sure you like, subscribe, and comment for more videos just like it. And also, while you're at it, you might as well go check out your nearest Duffy Sports Grill. Become a Duffy's MVP. Two for one drinks all day, every day. Plus, the award winning burgers and award winning wings pair perfectly with the 80 plus TVs. It's the best place to watch any sports game. Go check them out.